As the world watches the recession of the Ebola epidemic, global and sector leaders are coming together to discuss life after Ebola. Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Sierra Leone President Ernest Baikoroma, and Alpha Conde of Guinea were joined by top officials from around the world for the EU-backed meeting. At the meeting, the Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf asked for international assistance for the worst affected countries to rebuild their economies. We reach 80% of a suffering population or we feed 70% of the hungry children. In the case of Ebola, we have to come to zero. So the last stretch is going to require a massive effort. She asked international partners to remain committed, stressing that a lot would need to be done to recover from the effects of the outbreak. Kenya and Algeria have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for an initial three years to boost the economies and industrial development of both countries, specifically in the oil, power and gas sectors. The agreement was signed by Kenya's Cabinet Secretary of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, Ambassador Amina Mohamed, and Mr. Ram Tane Lamamra of Algeria at the Presidential Palace in Kenya. President Kenyatta and Prime Minister Abdel Malik Selal of Algeria were also present at the signing as witnesses. The areas of cooperation by both countries will cover the policy, legal and regulatory framework of the oil, gas and power sectors, onshore and offshore exploration and production of hydrocarbons, development of petrochemical industries such as refinery maintenance activities, domestic marketing and the transport and distribution of petroleum products. Kenya's Ministry of Energy and Petroleum and the Ministry of Energy for Algeria are expected to implement the agreement. Ambassador Amina Mohamed speaking on the MOU is quoted as saying, As Kenya looks forward to commercial exploitation of its oil resources, we look forward to learning from Algeria's expertise, including in the drawing up of appropriate legal frameworks and capacity building to enable us to take charge of our hydrocarbon resources right from the onset. In Pretoria, South Africa, a small group of university students held a peaceful protest demanding free and quality education for all. The students also lamented the poor accommodation facilities, saying that they were being overcharged and underserved. They also complained about the lack of funding from the National Students' Financial Aid Scheme and have asked that their study debts be eradicated. Spectators were treated to placards with phrases such as, a revolution of consciousness, bailouts for SAA, ESCOM, what about education, and more, as the protesters sang revolutionary songs and slogans in the streets. Some students said universities were charging exorbitant tuition fees as a form of modern-day exclusion, with some saying the unfortunate apartheid era was back. Student Tato Molopo is quoted as saying, We are tired of fighting against something that could easily be addressed in a single motion. Another student said he could not understand why African children are being blocked from studying. The protesters were calling for those in charge to come out to explain and face them in a bid to thrash out the issue. And Mohao Feiko, South Africa's ambassador to Japan, is currently not having a great time following the backlash which came with the claim that she obtained a doctorate in 2000 from the La Salle University in America. The ambassador has told press that she regrets her actions or words, to put it more aptly. She stated that she regrets saying that she has a doctorate degree when she doesn't. The university in question, La Salle, was closed in 1996 following stories that the institution was selling unmerited degrees online. The ambassador has said that the university was promoted as legitimate and that she had registered at it, but it closed before she could be awarded her doctorate. Of course, there has been backlash from the misrepresentation, with several people calling for the ambassador to be relieved of her position pending a full-scale investigation.